your initial thoughts on the win against Duke? Ah, uh, man, it's a, it's a great win. Uh, been here for a long time, and this is the first time I've ever beaten Duke at home, so uh, it was a little special place in my heart, especially being a Big Four champion. So it was uh, it was a really great win. Everyone had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun playing in the rain, a little cold, but it was a lot of fun. So it was, it's definitely a special place in my heart for sure. And it was definitely a great win, great uh, great team win. It was good for all of us to get this win after two weeks of uh, you know not com coming up a little bit short. So it was good. It was good for all of us. Next question, what does that mean, you know, to be able to snap that losing streak, you know, to win the way you guys did, face a little bit of adversity, but right. running the ball well and everything that right. you guys did well. I mean, it was, it was great. It was great that we were able to come out and run the ball really, really well. Uh, I would say, like, the last two weeks we kind of struggled with that, and it was really good to come back and kind of establish that we, still, that we have a strong running game. Um, you know, it was really good for the team morale that we got, that we got this win uh, coming – you know, being uh, only to the last two weeks, it kind of be hard. And you kind of see, like, some of the kids who aren't really used to losing. I mean, I was here for three and nine seasons, so I'm, I, you know. Uh, but it was good to get this win. And morale is just like, oh, phew. you know, it's kind of relaxed. Everyone's happy that we got the win. And so we're just kind of on to the next one. We were just talking to Kate about, you know, on to the next one and the goal that you still have, yeah. you know, in front of you. You know, how is that message from you guys, the seniors, you know, how you kind of getting that across to the young guys as far as going to Syracuse, not relaxing and staying focused on what you have right. to Right, right. And, and Kay kind of hit up, uh, kind of hit on all the points. I mean, all we can do is just kind of tell them, like, guys, you just got to push through. It's a long season. You know, we have a lot of players who are playing for the first time, playing their first year, and, they, you know, they're kind of getting a little worn down. You know, towards the end of the season, yeah, it's going to be hard. But we tell them you just got to keep pushing and you got to keep grinding and you got five days of good work including the game and then after that you get a nice little you get a nice break so you just kind of have to go all out this is the final time last regular season game so you know why not put all into it you know just like it's hard because your body's sore and you know you kind of mentally drained a little bit but this is and we tell them like this is the most important time that you guys have to buy in and you guys have to be even more uh dedicated than you were before because this is mo like the most important time of the season is the final game. You guys touched on uh, rushing the ball well the way you guys did against Duke. What does that do for your offense when you have Jamie that can, you know, run the ball very well with the RPOs, Cade, and then Kenneth Walker, of course, right. making those big runs. What, how does that help your offense that's so, that been so pass heavy this year? Uh, I mean, I think it really helps our offense and the fact that it, I think it, help, it makes it hard for people to defend against it. You know, I think we have we still have really, really good receivers, and then we have really good receiving core, and then you have a really, really good run. You know, a run like run game it kind of makes it hard to defend, and kind of makes defense kind of like play on their heel, on their heels a little bit because they can't be too aggressive trying to stop the run because the ball can go right above their head. They can't pay too passive because we can just run the ball. So it definitely makes our offense a little bit more of a challenge to guard. I would like to think so. Um, I, I still feel like teams this year have done a great job. Um, defending both the run and the pass, but it makes it a little bit harder for sure for teams to kind of like scheme, scheme us up a little bit. So it's good to have we have a good strong running game and that we established that last game. When you look at Syracuse, you know, uh, they, I mean, uh, their, their record does not show how good they are. I mean, they, they are phenomenal. They are a really, really good team. Um, uh, Coach Clawson said this today. I mean, I think that this is going to be one of the hardest venues we're going to have to play in this year. For sure, I mean, I have hell. I mean, I have a lot of respect for them. I mean, I play against them a lot, and they have really, really great players. Especially their two defensive ends. Their linebacker core is really, really good, and their and their secondary is really, really good. I mean, they have a freshman All-American, so uh, well, he's a sophomore now, but um, they're really, really good team. Really good quarterback. Really good receiving core. I mean, they're. I, I, I mean, the record does not show how good they are. They're a really, really good team.